My name is Drake Randall. I'm from Lewis and Idaho. I'm 26 and I'm fight out of team execution. Beautiful. How long have you been in mixed martial arts? Um, I've been training and doing this since uh, July of 22. So just July, so that's pretty fresh. Before MMA, have you had any experience yeah. in combat sports? I've wrestled pretty much my whole life and I went on to college and wrestled for four Where years. Where were you wrestling? I wrestled two years at Montana State Northern and two years at Eastern Oregon University. Um, how many fights have you actually had so far? I've had three fights. Three so. fights. What is the difference? What's a big difference between competing as a wrestler versus competing as a mixed martial artist? Weigh-ins, where you get 24-hour weigh-ins is pretty nice. Um, kind of ex explain a little bit more what the difference is between weigh-ins for MMA and then wrestling. Like with wrestling, with a like a tournament, you have two hours after weigh-ins, and then you compete after weigh-ins, and then like a duel, you have one hour. And then with fighting, you have 24 hours, pretty much. What kind of weight were you cutting in wrestling? I actually wrestled 165 my senior year of college. So, I, and I was I was a lot bigger than I am now. Walked around a lot bigger than I did right now. So, um, how much weight were you cutting in wrestling? And now, how much weight do you usually cut for MMA? So right now, I only walk around at like max 65 right now. So. Um, I have yet to cut to 45 yet. This will be my first fight actually making 45. I've had a catch weight at 150 the last two, and then the first fight I fought at 155. What are some of your favorite go-to meals and drinks after a, after a weight cut? Honestly, just stick it stick simple, like water, just craving water after being dehydrated, and then a good steak, like a good nice homemade meal that night is what I crave. What are a few differences between training MMA and training for wrestling? Oh, a lot. Um, MMA, there's a lot more going on. You have to be a lot more aware and just a lot more new to me. So like I, I'm learning every day, which I was in wrestling too, but every day something that's completely new to me. So it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. What feels better, a win in the championship wrestling match or a win in, in the cage? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I would say I went in the cage. And I definitely went in the cage probably just because it's a lot more. I mean, you're in a fight. You're not, you can't lose by points or anything like that. It's like who's going to, who's tougher, who's going to win. So definitely a fight. What is your record in the past three MMA fights you've had? Um, since my last three I've had, I am 3 no. <laughs> I am 2 and 0 in amateur and 1 and 0 in pro. Perfect. And then you have another fight coming up April 29th. Do you know anything about your opponent? Um, no, not really. I know that I have a fight now and uh, just going to go out and do me and go out and strike hopefully and look better on my feet than I did last fight. How do you describe your fighting style? I wouldn't, I would not describe it yet. I would still say I'm coming into myself, so I wouldn't say I have a style yet. Um, what are some of the most interesting or like shocking things to you for from training and being an MMA fighter? Like what what stands out the most of like whoa this is this is different? Uh, leg kicks and getting kicked in like the legs like definitely way different than anything else. That's not something you endure in any other sport or anything like that. I mean you don't really endure getting hit, but it's definitely different. I got some chicken legs on me, so. What about your, your walkout songs to the cage? What have you had before, and are you going to have the same one for your next fight? Yeah, I've only had uh, God's Gonna Cut You Down by Johnny Cash, and I'm going to stick to that. So Nice. What about the emotions before a fight compared to, you know, before a big college wrestling That's, match? I definitely feel, I don't know why, but, like, I feel more calm before the fight. It's just a lot more, I need to get more of a killer instinct right when I get in there, but before I do feel calm and I mean confident. I just, I do feel confident in my ground game at all times, so I don't know. That's so good. What do your parents think about you fighting? Uh, my dad loves it. He's wanted me to do it since I wrestled pretty much and my mom hates it. I mean, she loves that I like it, but she comes to all the fights, but doesn't sit in there when I fight. She leaves the arena when I fight. Do you have a favorite UFC fighter? That's hard. Definitely like... Mm. 
Max Holloway is one of my all-time favorites. But I like Volk after what Volk's done. Volk, you really can't not like, not like him. So I, I would have to say for right now, who who's fighting Volkanovski? Uh, do you think Makachev beat Volkanovski? No, I do not. I think Volk won round two, so that changes the fight. I agree. I think Volk got robbed. What has MMA and wrestling taught you that you can carry over into your everyday life? Uh, it's all everything's on you. You don't get anyone to blame anything on like other sports like you wear what you do you got to wear it on your sleeve and you make your decisions so there's no one to blame but yourself where do you see yourself in one year continuing to fight and then where do you see yourself in five years if if this is something that you want to be loving that long definitely wish I want that that's my goal and uh, in a year I hope to be way more How do I wear this? I want to be like way better pretty much, even though I shouldn't use that way better on my feet though. So I want my feet, like my striking to be solid and then definitely be more, like learn more submissions, be more deadly when I'm on top and on the ground, always looking for a submission everywhere. What's your favorite memory so far with mixed martial arts? Uh, you know, like after the first fight just was cool because there was a lot of people there that showed up from here because it was in at the Clearwater and I'm from here and there, it was awesome to see how many people showed up to, I mean, I don't know if they're all there to watch me, but like people that I know that were there, it was awesome to see. And then how did you, how did you stumble in and make it into this gym? Um, I've always said I wanted to do it and just life happens and I just decided one day to no more talking and I called Austin and told him, asked him when the next fight was and told him to sign me up and then started coming in two weeks after that and training for it. That's awesome. That's a go get it mentality. What's one thing that you think sets you aside from everybody else training in this gym? Um, I don't know, I'm pretty dumb tough. Like, pretty tough I guess is I, I can once I get better at striking I'll be better but I can take I think some good punches and keep going April 29th Clearwater River Casino get your tickets and come watch Team Execution